Hello, it's How To Not To. Once again, I'm going to show you how to transfer old footage from a from a VHS machine. In my last video, I showed you how to transfer footage from a VHS to a DVD. However, the process is longer um, as you have to save the footage from the VHS to the DVD recorder before you can view it on your PC. What's that noise? And then you have to transfer the footage to a readable format to be able to edit it on Movie Maker. It just took too long and it was, a, it was a lot of hassle. So in this video I'm going to transfer the footage directly to my laptop using the Climax Digital Kit which I bought from Amazon for £20. It's meant to capture video from VHS, V8 and HI8. So I'm now going to get it out of the box. which contains a SCART to AV adapter. You also get the red, white and yellow cables. Um, that's the AV cables with the um, S video cable to connect to the VHS machine. It has a USB to zero connector, so you can connect this to the USB. So you can connect the USB directly to your PC and the other leads will connect to the VHS. You get the installation guide, um, it includes the ArcSoft Showbiz DVD. This also allows you to edit your VHS videotapes to quality DVD. It's compatible with Windows 10, however I had seen reviews on Amazon saying it's not compatible. Um, however, there, I think you need to change your settings for it to be compatible with Windows 10. So I'll, um, I mean, we'll see won't we, if it is compatible with Windows 10. It's also compatible with 8.1, 8 and 7 and it's also compatible with Vista and XP. Okay, to get started you first need to set up the cables to the VHS and then download the software. So connect the AV cables matching the colours together and then connect them to the SCART adapter. Again, match the colours together. Insert the SCART lead adapter to the back of the VHS and ensure the button is set to output. Also, you need to insert a SCART lead cable from the VHS to the TV to be able to view the footage on your TV. Now you need to insert the DVD that came with the kit and download the software. So click on Install Showbiz 3.5 and click yes to that. It supports full screen in preview mode, transfers video to the formats for iPod and iPod Touch iPhone, Apple TV, PSP, PS3, Xbox 360 and mobile phone and you can upload capture video to YouTube as well. Here you need to fill in username and license key which came with the DVD. Click next and it shouldn't be too long now. And then click finish. The next thing you need to do is install the drivers and once all that's done it will prompt you to restart your PC. The software bundle includes Arc Soft Showbiz DVD 3.5 and supports Xbox 360, PS3, color recording plus upload videos to YouTube, which I've just said. <laughs> okay, I've now got the Arc Soft Showbiz software showing on the, my desktop. So I'm going to double click on that and now I think we can, um, we're ready to view the footage on the software. Okay, so if it doesn't work for Windows 10, please go to Windows settings and change the camera privacy settings. In the privacy settings, camera access for this device needs to be on and allow apps to access your camera needs to be on as well. Then change the microphone settings so the microphone access for this device needs to be on. Allow apps to access your microphone needs to be on. So I'm going to pop in a VHS tape and press play and <laughs> oh dear, this is not my footage. It's picking up um, the TV for some reason. 
<sighs> okay, let me see. I'm just going to change the program line on the VHS to see if that will do anything. No, it's still not showing. It's still showing the TV. Okay. I'll come back. Okay, I've messed about with the cables and the um, the video is now appearing on my PC. Basically, all I, all I did was um, remove the SCART and popped it back in and also took the USB from the laptop and put that back in. And for some reason, it just magically appeared on the PC. <sighs> So, um, yeah, it does work with Windows 10, as you can see. However, I'm not overly thrilled with the quality. It looks much better on my TV than it does on the PC. Um, I might need to change the settings. I haven't messed about with it yet. So I might have to go into that and see if that will um, change the quality. Um, so to record, all you need to do is click on Capture and then click Stop. If you're recording more than an hour of footage. Uh, do make sure you have enough storage space on your PC to do that. I'm sure you can also record directly to external hard drive, so I'm sure you wouldn't have any problems with that. So just drag the video to the timeline to edit, and once you're happy with it, you can save it directly to a DVD, or you can save it to the hard drive. I prefer to um, record all the footage first, save it to my folders and then upload it to Movie Maker to edit the footage first before uploading it anywhere like YouTube. <laughs> okay, that's it for this video. The Climax Digital did work on Windows 10, as I mentioned before, and it was pretty straightforward to install the software. However, I did have to mess about with the cables to get it to eventually show up on my PC. Um, I probably should have read the instructions first though, um, having said that. I am going to see if I can improve the video quality and probably do an update on this product in my next video. So if you want to see that, don't forget to click on the notification bell. Um, and don't, and also please subscribe to my channel as well. And one last thing to mention, um, if you still have a VHS machine and a DVD recorder and you want to know how to transfer the footage to a DVD recorder from a VHS machine, then please um, click up at the end of this video to see a video on how to do that. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.